So we'll just run this as a as a normal 12 minute uh, here. Last uh, last tournament. Oops, that was an early start. I started with the uh, Acrobot countdown. Last year I did a sudden death uh, format, but I don't really have it set up for that, and so we'll just uh, we'll just run this normally. Haven't really explained that in the rules yet either, so we'll just run a normal race here. So, tournament life on the line for these folks. They need to take first place here in order to win uh, and advance on to the semifinals. Yeah, for those who may just be joining me, um, this is Necrodancer's uh, second birthday. We're celebrating with a tournament of the hardest character in the game, Coda. Coda, for those who uh, don't know what she is, uh, maybe you haven't unlocked her, would be understandable. Um, you've got to complete in all characters around to do so. Um, Coda combines the hardest characters, the experts of all the hardest characters, into one. It's dagger only. Uh, die in one hit. Die to a missed beat and die to gold and double tempo, so it's pretty rough. Um, developers thought she would be impossible, but we've proven otherwise multiple times. Um, whether or not we see a clear in the course of this tournament remains to be seen, but we've seen some pretty good uh, pushes so far. I've been missing some flag plants. Hold on. So we got Sirishan at 1-3, Yuka at 1-2, and Carvando at 1-3. Yeah, Miner's Cap pickup for uh, for Carvando is uh, kind of interesting. <coughs> Gives you uh, tough situations like with this uh, with this monkey. You can't dig buffer against the walls. Um, really hard to deal with those fast-moving enemies. I'm going to swap to the Glass Shovel here. Maximize digging power. Nice bomb on the Leprechaun there. You know, depending what his boss is, he might regret spending that first, uh, that spending that bomb. And yeah, actually, uh, Sirius Sean is fighting the boss right now, and it's Coral Rift, so, uh, probably gonna be pretty unhappy about spending that bomb. Yuka on 1 3 as well. And, uh, Sirius Sean is gonna be the first one down to zone 2. Carvando fighting Coral Rift now. Handling it pretty well, though, despite not being able to throw in Bomb. And cleaning the fight up. And is going to be right behind Sean. I think trying to swap off the Miner's Cap there, but just getting a Luminous Torch. So I'm going to have to run it for a little while longer. Sean is on 2-2 at this point. Throwing stars at least offer a way to buffer beats, if needed. Right now, look, look, <coughs> excuse me. Right now, looking like it's between Carbondo and Sirius Sean. Sirius Sean with the advantage for the moment, but that can always change. Carbondo sniping out the dire bat with those shurikens. And is on to 2-2. Two, two. Sean looking to reach the exit. And is on 2-3. Maintaining his lead. Yuka accidentally exited to come back to the lobby. It's 
Sean trying to reach the exit here. Very close. Just going to blast home through. And it's on 2-4. And Crowvando goes down. Putting Sean in a really great position. Last homing away, Kanga. And is going to be advancing to zone 3. Gonna, this is going to make life really tough for Calvando. He's got to put together a good run quickly if he wants to stay in this tournament. So Sean getting a little overwhelmed by the uh, random dove teleports, I think. Not really uh, coming out favorably. <coughs> it's going down to a missed beat. It's back to 1-1 one, one for him. <coughs> Excuse me. So all three racers back on 1-1. One, one. Just over half the time remaining. Uh, Sean maybe uh, getting a little bit rattled by his death, taking a um, taking multiple deaths in the early game after uh, going down to zone three. Cavando this time pushing without the miner's cap, which I think is a smart decision. Going down to the monkey in 1-3, that's a pretty big time loss for Cravando. The last thing he needs right now. Sean with a huge lead in Flag Plant. He's got five minutes to reach 3-2 if he wants to stay in this. Yukon, unfortunately, uh, yet to leave zone 1. 1-3 uh, one Flag Plant. Cravando kind of walking into a zombie there. I'm quite sure what he's looking for here. I think maybe he recognizes that now he has to push again and is looking for that miner's cap again. <laughs> but is uh, having a really hard time getting to it. I don't know, okay, that's a torch, so... Wondering where he picked up the miner's cap. <clears throat> I'm going to have to make a really aggressive push here. Four minutes remaining to clear two zones. Two, two zones and change, in fact. He's got to clear 3 1 as well. And get this 1 1 just being really slow, not coming together. up. Yuka looking to make their way back to some uh, to 1-3, which is their current flag plant. <coughs> yeah, Cravando just not playing with the, the amount of um, optimization he needs to to keep the pace he, he uh he really needs up. On to 1-3. Yuka going down in 1-3 as well. Just under three minutes remaining. Glass slippers again. At least it has enough seed memory to remember that that red chest is not worth checking. And is going on to Coral Rift. 
two and a half minutes left to finish another zone and a half or so. It's rough, but it's doable. Swapping to the Boots of Strength. Oh no, I think we really needed to swap to the Boots of Strength. I don't think this, um... Okay, gonna take Shrine of Rhythm, maybe um, hoping that it will help with his optimization and uh, just keep him alive. Mayor Frost is going to help him push here, but um, he doesn't have much time. It's about a minute and a half, and he's going the wrong way. On a seat, on a floor, he's um, already almost like almost completed, I believe. Alright, Kralvando on to 2-3. He could do it. It's looking pretty pretty close. The only mini boss just needs to reach the exit here. Getting a little swarmed here though. Has to push for the exit is very low on time. 44 seconds to finish this boss fight and of and of floor of zone three. It's walking around the gold. I, I honestly don't think he has time to do that. <laughs> Free spell could be what he needs to push though. 18 seconds left. He knows where the exit is. He's pushing for it. 10 seconds. I don't think he's going to make it. Yeah, he's, he doesn't have time to wait this Yeti out. 2 seconds. 1. That's time. Kralvando just, yeah, not playing with the urgency he needs on this 3-1. One, one, on And is going. He, I think he's going to make it there eventually, but yeah, he does make it, but 23 seconds too late. Carvando definitely did have the chance there, but I just don't think he realized how low he was on time. Because um, he was pretty close to the exit, but just spent so much time fighting the Eddie and then shopping. Um, if he just pushed straight for the exit, used that freeze spell aggressively, he could have had it. But, yeah, just um, not quite good enough. So, Sirius Sean is going to advance onto the semifinals. And uh, Yuka and Carvando, um, unfortunately, are going to be saying goodbye.